Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. I just sat down, I just put these eye masks on and they feel so good. They're by the brand, I have them right here. 111 Skin, I got a facial by this brand in Palm Springs and it was wonderful. And she sent me home with a bunch of under eye masks. So they're super cooling, they're like a D puff. Um, and I always have super puffy under eyes, like eye bags in the morning. So these are really nice. Drinking a water, I just made a coffee and I thought I would turn the camera on and start a new vlog. I also got this in the mail while I was gone in Palm Springs at Coachella and it is a freaking game changer, you guys. It's a skinny confidential ice roller. And like it's freezing cold and I didn't even put it in the fridge. So she really did something here. But anyways, um, I wanted to start a new vlog. I got home from Palm Springs on Monday night late at like 11.30 and today's Wednesday. So yesterday I took the day off. I unpacked my bag. I did laundry. I did a workout, just like all that. Went grocery shopping, all that. And I just was worn out from like taking and doing content. So I just took the day off. I didn't vlog. Um, which kind of stunk because I did a lot yesterday. But anyways, today we have another busy day because we have stuff to do around the house, just like things to do. Dylan and I are doing a dinner date tonight, so that'll be fun. And then tomorrow I leave again for Georgia. My best friend Romeo, who's also in my wedding, um, is wedding is this weekend and her like wedding activities start Thursday night. So I leave tomorrow afternoon till Sunday. Dylan's driving up though, and he's gonna be at the wedding too in Georgia so that'll be really fun it's only like a three hour drive from us so super nice that it's close if we still lived in Colorado I'd have to get on a flight again but um yeah so what's the update what's the 411 <laughs> I feel like people have been freaking out about Revolve Festival and Coachella and stuff online and I've been getting a ton of DMs and stuff and I just want to say how I feel about it really quick not that it matters or not that really my opinion matters but all in all, I had a wonderful time at Revolve Festival. Um, I thought it was amazing. I feel so blessed and so honored to have been able to go. I was lucky enough to be able to stay in the Revolve Hotel and them to fly me out and all that exciting, super, super fun stuff. So I know that it's been going around social media, specifically TikTok, um, about like the festival and all that. But I just want to say that I had a wonderful time. I still can't believe that I got invited to go. And I think it's all about how you make it. Obviously not everything um, is going to go perfect. And when you have like a big, huge group of people like that all coming and trying to get into one place, obviously, obviously there's going to be like situations that don't go perfect and you have to just kind of like make the best of it. Yes. We like, had to take a really expensive Uber and the ride was long and like whatever, like whatever your problem was, everyone dealt with different things. But I just wanna say I'm super blessed and I had a wonderful time and I am so glad that I got to go. And I feel like it's all about how, like what you make of your situation. So I went with a wonderful group of people, the six of us, Graydon, and Maggie, Jess, Emily, Lily and me, and we had like the best freaking time ever. So um, the Coachella vlog should have already gone up the Coachella pack and prep and my Coachella Revolve Festival weekend vlog. So it was fun. I was exhausted from it and I'm excited to be home, but I also am so thankful and I love working with Revolve and I would do it again. So anyways, um, that's that. I wanted to just touch on that because I feel like I've been getting a ton of DMs specifically about it. So I thought I would just say that, but it was wonderful and it was fun. Palm Springs was beautiful and I love the weather and all that, I came home to like a cold Tennessee, so I missed the sunshine. But you guys, I came home in total freak out mode of the wedding because we are, actually let me Google how close we are to my wedding day. Um, today is Wednesday the 20th. How many days until May 14th? We're 24 days away, you guys. That's freaking insane literally insane I don't even know what to do and before those 24 days I have Romeo's wedding this weekend and then I come home and then I'm home for that whole week and then my mom and I fly to New York to get my dress because I still don't even have my dress yet I don't have it altered or anything um, and so we're doing that and then we get home and then like three days later we head to the wedding and then like two days after that we head up to our honeymoon so everything from probably here on out is going to be wedding related content like prepping for the wedding um, 
and if you don't like it i'm so sorry because that's like what my life is going to be consumed of the next few weeks because a wedding is a huge deal and we need to get our shit together and i feel like there's so many loose little end things that i still need to tie up that i'm kind of like low-key freaking out about and i'm someone who through this whole wedding experience i feel like i've had a lot of questions about like how i've handled it and just like the wedding planning process and honestly i feel like i'm probably one of the most chill people which i feel like you probably wouldn't expect from me i feel like people think that i'm like a bridezilla but i'm actually the quite opposite i feel like a wedding is our wedding's gonna be beautiful and i'm so so excited for it but i feel like it's not really like a me thing i feel like i don't really love the attention being on me um obviously it's your wedding and like that's how it's gonna be and when i'm in the moment i'm gonna love it but leading up i just feel a lot of anxiousness about it and i just want everything to go smooth i feel like when you throw a wedding as sad as it is because it's so much money it's mostly for your guests to experience a great time and to celebrate you and your loved ones and your family and all that stuff but anyways um i've been stressed i'm not gonna lie this is just like me being totally real i've been freaking stressed out about it and i just want everything to go smoothly because there's a lot of people who have put a lot of money on the line to get to the wedding and we've put a lot of freaking money on the line to have this wedding so, so i just wanted to go smoothly and i know it will but just leading up you know how you get like anxious and stuff and then i'm also trying like i still feel like we just moved to nashville i'm still trying to get kind of comfy here because i feel like every time i'm here i have a trip and then i leave which is totally on me so i'm not complaining i'm so thankful and blessed for like what i do um but Dylan started a new job, we moved to a new city, my friend has a wedding, there's revolve trips, there's work, there's just all of that. And nothing can stop because if something like stops, like if I stop work, then I can't pay the bills for the wedding or I can't, you know what I'm saying? So everything just is kind of like a working machine and I'm trying to figure it out. By no means am I complaining because I know that everyone deals with it, it's just life. But I just wanna be real with you guys because I feel like on social media you see everything so perfectly lined out and it's like, how does she always have like blah, blah, blah and her outfits look so good and she always has like this and she always like, how is she everywhere at once? It's like behind the scenes, it's like a shit show, I'm not gonna lie. So wanted to say that, but everything, honestly, minus like maybe a few days in my life will be wedding related content. We have a lot of fun, fun stuff coming up and I'm so excited. And wedding stuff, um, like wedding, wedding week I'm gonna be vlogging, I'm gonna be vlogging, getting my wedding dress, um, all that fun stuff. So anyways, I'm also gonna go to Sephora when I get back from Georgia, like next week's vlogs, and I'm gonna do a makeup trial. I'm gonna get a bunch of makeup products and see how I wanna do my makeup for the wedding because I am doing my own makeup, which is probably shocking to a lot of you guys because I'm so bad at makeup, but I bought the makeup by Kellyanne, like bridal trial. Um, it shows you a full video of like how to do it step-by-step step and all the products to get. So I'm gonna be doing that for my makeup because I don't feel like myself when someone else does my makeup. So I just want to feel like myself and feel pretty and feel like me and i don't want dylan to see me and be like whoa like your makeup looks good but like him be like low-key like that doesn't really look like you i want to look like myself on my wedding day we're also getting married at the beach so i feel like it's more chill i don't need like a full face of glam on because it's going to be hot and we're going to be sweaty so anyways that was like my long little rant and yeah i just wanted to start off the video by talking to you guys little life updates about how Coachella was and all that stuff we had the best time I just freaking love um Lily Maggie Jess Graydon, and Emily like that was my first time meeting Emily which is Jess's um sister-in-law and she was just so go with the flow and so fun it was like the best group and I'm excited because we have so much fun stuff coming up also I have a lot of you guys asking if they're coming to the wedding and Maggie Lily and Jess are all coming and they're all bringing their boyfriends so well Jess's husband but I'm so excited for them to be there I'm so glad we got to add them because if I would have known them months and months ago they would have definitely been invited to the wedding if not like in the wedding i don't know we just get along so well and i just love them it's like such a genuine friendship i feel like when i'm with them i like forget about social media and i just want to like talk and hang out and laugh and have a conversation and i feel like these days it's rare to find friendships like that so i just love them so much and i'm so thankful that like social media brought our worlds together because it's so fun but anyways okay i'm gonna make what am I gonna do right now? I'm gonna stop rolling my face because I've been doing this for like 30 minutes. 
I'm gonna go upstairs and make the bed and get dressed into just like some comfies. I need to run to Target because I need to get like wrapping and stuff for my friend's wedding gift. Um, I also crimped my hair with Jess's like waiver in um, Palm Springs and I wanna run to Target and get that for my hair this weekend because I loved how it looked. And yeah, so just a little day in the life. Here we go. And these babies off. I feel like lately I've really been taking care of my skin, like going the extra mile to like roll it out, to do the products, to do the face mask, and I can see a difference. So I feel like I used to be one of those people that like, oh, skincare doesn't matter. Freaking matters, you guys. I feel like lately my skin has been just so glowy. I feel like lately my skin is just really good. And I never give myself compliments, and here I am saying my skin is looking good right now. <laughs> a few cute things in the mail while I was gone. I actually ordered this for Coachella, but I didn't end up coming in time. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's a size small. Um, it's by For Love and Lemons by the Victoria's Secret collab that they do, and it's just like a little corset bustier top. I feel like this is really cute for spring and summer, like going out in Nashville. I like the color. I feel like I don't have a lot of things that are color, and I love that. I also got a Dairy Girl denim merch hat. This is Paige Lorenz merch. I wanted to support her because I love milk. I'm a milk girl, so I got that. And then I also got Triangle Swim sent me a swimsuit, which is totally crazy to me because I used to obsess over this swimsuit company when I was like younger and I had like no money and I would beg my mom to buy me some of their swimsuits and she would tell me I, I needed to save up my money and whatever, but they sent me a suit and it's so cute. It's giving like Halloween vibes, but I love the orange black. It's like a little string bikini. And then this is like a little sarong. Their suits always come in these like really good, like um, waterproof bags. I love to use these for travel. So those are some packages I came home to. I need to put this stuff away. I need to know if this is just my house or if everyone just always feels like they can't get on top of the laundry. I feel like all I do, you guys, is laundry. And I think it's because, I mean, Dylan's good at keeping up with it when I'm gone, but I feel like when you go on a trip, it's like you just dump your suitcase into the wash and then it's just like towels. I swear it's just like never ending. So I've been doing laundry since like seven o'clock this morning because I've been trying to get everything done. I like unpacked the suitcase yesterday. I took stuff to the dry cleaner. A lot of my like revolve clothes that are on the pricier side, I always like to take to the dry cleaners because I'm like, you spend all that money on clothes. You might as well dry clean. You know what I mean? So doing laundry quick and then you guys I'm obsessed with this sweatshirt I got it at Revolve Fest obviously it's an 818 and I don't really love tequila but you guys 818 is pretty good the darker one is really really good like the darker colored tequila that she makes is yummy I'm gonna switch this over I'm gonna go make the bed and do all that stuff and then we're gonna run our errands for the day My next like task while I'm home for more than a few days is to get this bedroom finished. I need to order side tables because I thought that I had ordered them before the trip and I got an email saying like something happened so they weren't placed. I think I put the wrong like billing address in for my card so it like didn't go through but I had ordered two side tables from Restoration Hardware that were like super like dark pretty wood so I need to go back on and order those. Just made the bed. I also need to like fix this duvet. I need to clean it, so that's why I didn't fix it, but it's like all messed up inside of there, but it's fine. Um, but I wanted to show you guys our new rug. This is the same rug that we got um, for the living room. It's from Rugs USA. They sent us a ton of rugs for the house, and I love this rug so much. We just have like a little pad down underneath it so it doesn't slide, 
and it's so nice it's like a jute rug but it has like a rope braiding in it and i really like how it looks with the bed and the hardwood so we have a rug in here now which is nice because Winnie doesn't freak out when she gets on and off the bed we're gonna hang a tv here because we love to lay in bed and watch tv we like tried not to hang one but we realized that we want one and then underneath i ordered this like vintage really skinny like um light wood bench which i think will complement the rug nice and then we'll have dark wood side tables and that's all that will really go in here i wish that this mirror didn't have to go here but i like to be able to show you guys my outfits so anyways that's a little room update i love the rug i'll link it for you guys Rugs USA is the place to go. Also made a little pile of things that I am gonna return that I never ended up wearing to Coachella. So I have like this black top. I bought these Bottega boots for an outfit that I never wore and I'm like, Rachel, you're never going to wear those. So I'm gonna return those. And then a pair of sunglasses. So I need to run to the post office today. And then this is some more dry cleaning that needs to go. Getting stuff done over here, you guys. I really, really wanted to make these waffles that I got yesterday for like a late breakfast. It's like 10 o'clock right now. Um, these are the Kashi, Kashi blueberry fluffy crispy waffles. You guys, I grew up like a waffle freak. I used to eat Eggo's waffles every single day before school. And I saw these yesterday at Publix and they just looked really good. And I got like some fresh fruit to go on top, but I have no maple syrup and that's like the key to a good waffle so i have to run to target anyway so i'm just gonna go do that really quick since i literally live right by a target and go ahead and get like the gift the wedding gift out of the way and come back and then i'll make breakfast but i'll show you guys because i freaking love waffles and i just saw those yesterday in the store and i've been like so excited to eat it i literally went to bed last night thinking like oh man i can't wait to have my coffee and a blueberry waffle tomorrow so i have to get syrup or it's not gonna live up to the expectation that I'm like hoping it to live up to. So we're gonna go just run in the car quick. I have to go back upstairs to get my purse. I can show you guys my outfit even though it literally looks like I'm wearing my pajamas. I really wanted to be comfy today. So we've got this little crew neck on. It's a sweater material. It's from Rosemary Beach. Um, my little YSL bag and then these sweats are so good. They're from the brand Sammy Mario Vintage off Revolve and I love them and then I'm just wearing some easy slides so super comfy little fit today. Okay, I'm at Target. I'm gonna get this beach waver. It's the only one that they have that's 1.25 inch barrel so I'm gonna try this out. I'll link it for you guys. I might try it in this vlog and I can show you. I just went into Target and I left without the one thing that I really wanted, <laughs> maple syrup. So now I'm in the Publix lot because I remembered as I was passing, like leaving Target, but I'm putting on this chapstick that is so good. This was in the little goodie bag that Revolve like sent around to our rooms at the hotel and it's so good. I'm obsessed with this brand Ilya. It's the stuff that I put on my face some days, like the tinted, a tinted thing you know it's clean beauty that's good but okay take two on the maple syrup just go back from target i wanted to show you guys what i picked up um i love doing whenever i have like a party or a birthday or a wedding or something i love doing a little basket of a bunch of little things and then like a gift card i feel like at the end of the day a lot of people just want like cash or a gift card with a place that has like items that their registry has. So they had um, Crate and Barrel and Target as their registry. So I did a $100 Target gift card. And then I got this really cute card from Target. I didn't know this, but Target actually carries Minted, which is the brand that I use. And I work with them for all of my wedding invites and all that stuff. So I didn't know that they carried that, but she had a ton of like kitchen appliances on her registry, like a bunch of like utensils and things like that so they just moved into a new home so i got her this that was on there a little lemon squeezer spatula whisk and then this little muddler and then i also got her this candle which is our favorite candle mine and dylan's i actually got us the huge big size one i got her the small just because i don't know if she would love this scent but it's my favorite so i wanted to 
gift that to her, but I got this big mama for over here. I'm um, to switch this one out because this one is gone. So this one right here, it's so good. It's this brand right here, Wild Iris and Centaur. And it looks so cute right there. I got her just some dish towels. I feel like everyone can always use that. And then I'm gonna make it look really cute with some wrapping paper and like make it all cute and stuff. So I'm gonna do that quick. Also got myself the uh, hair waver. This isn't the brand of the one that Jess had. She had the Bondi Boost one, I believe, but this looks the exact same and it's actually a 1.25 inch barrel. So I think I'll like this one better. So we'll try it out. Cute. I'm not like the best at doing this kind of stuff, you guys. So I'm like trying, but I think it looks good. Candle, some kitchen stuff, gift card, card, some towels. I feel like it's like a good gift. I would love this gift for myself. <laughs> Two waffles in the toaster, a huge thing of berries, and then some butter. This is my favorite maple syrup. It's from Publix. It's just good. The Whole Foods one is really good too. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, keep waiting. Okay. It's not the healthiest breakfast, but it's also not the worst. It could be way worse. That, we've got a ton of berries. I'm gonna pour some of this into a little bowl and heat it up so my waffles. I feel like when you pour cold syrup onto a hot waffle with cold fruit, it just makes your meal cold. Okay, this on top. Here she is. I've been thinking about this for like 12 hours. <laughs> I just sat down to do some editing. I'm gonna like knock out editing my Coachella vlog. I haven't done that yet. It needs to go up, I think, tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna sit here for a while. So I have on my blue light glasses from Warby Parker and I just quickly wanted to thank Warby Parker for sponsoring the video. I wanted to specifically talk to you guys about their contact lenses, but they literally offer it all. So Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. If you guys have ever like walked around the mall, sometimes they'll have like a Warby Parker store, which they're so cute and stuff. So you definitely recommend going in but their online um, storefront is incredible. They have sunglasses, they have prescription lenses, they have blue light glasses, they have contact lenses, which I wanna to talk to you guys about. And they just really have something for everybody. Um, I love their sunglasses and then these are their blue light and I don't have a prescription in them, but you can get yours put in if you would like. They also carry a really wide variety of contact lens brands. You guys can save 15% off your first order of contacts and the savings are automatically applied at checkout. Out. So you guys just have to go to warbyparker.com slash Rachel to save 15% on your first order of contact lenses But I personally don't wear contacts if you guys don't either they offer something for everyone Like I said and their glasses start at just $95, which is incredible because they're really really amazing quality um, My pair of sunglasses I have I love them. They're like super super cute I always get a lot of questions about them and they have so many different styles So these are a blue light pair, but I'm obsessed. So again, you guys can just go to warbyparker.com slash Rachel It saves you 15% off on your first order of contact lenses if you guys are in the market. So check them out. Thank you, Warby Parker, for working with me in today's video. I'm going to get to editing, and that's that. <laughs> to go wash my hair i'm gonna do a shower like the full-on shower my hair has been slicked back in a bun for too many days so to like exfoliate my scalp like really wash my hair i've been rocking the slick bun for a few days now and i really want to try out my new beach waver and don't are going to dinner tonight so i want to have my hair done so i'm going to shower quick Just got out of the shower. I just lathered up 
my whole body with this body balm. I feel super dry after traveling and things like that. And this is like such a good body moisturizer, really like oily and just like sinks into the skin and it's really, really good. So I've been loving this. Also just moisturize the skin with some of this Summer Fridays. The all-in-one face oil is probably one of my favorite products that Summer Fridays has. Also just went back to using this Ultra Repair Cream. It's so good if you're really dry and need to be super hydrated all oiled up i learned when i got my facial in palm springs that she like really brought it down my neck and all down onto my shoulders and chest and i like recently just started doing that too and it just makes me feel good i feel like i'm i feel like everyone just stops right here but you have to think about the neck aging and then like the chest and stuff so i started like bringing my products all the way down so right now i have that face oil on and it really just gives your skin like a nice little glow so i'm gonna go sit on the couch let all of this sink into my skin and then let my hair air dry a little bit. I just have it in one of these towels. Um, I'm gonna let my hair air dry mostly, blow dry it a little bit, and then I'm gonna wave it and I'll show you guys. This is my little snack. Pretzels, these thin ones are so good. I just got them yesterday at Publix. And then these pickles, you guys, if you like pickles and you don't eat these, I literally don't know what to tell you. So good, so crunchy. And I really wanna make like a egg salad sandwich. I'm leaving town tomorrow because these pickles are so good. I got like celery, eggs, pickle, onion to make it, but you know, we're on the go these days, you guys. We just got ready for dinner and I didn't vlog doing my hair because honestly, I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out and I was kind of in a rush, but I will show you guys. I mean, it's self-explanatory. You just literally crimp it. I can show you guys when I get home too or if I touch it up tomorrow, I'm also vlogging. So um, we just got ready for dinner. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. And yeah, this blazer's from Zara. I got it kind of recently, so it might honestly still be on their website. I love it because there's these little cutouts in the arm. And then I'm wearing just a Skims bralette. And then this necklace I just recently got for my Coachella trip and then I never wore it. Put this, like you can take it on and off any necklace. So I love that, it has a little R on it. And then this necklace is really cute. I'm wearing my YSL bag and then these trouser pants are from Zara and then I'm wearing these like white sneakers. I always wear them with like my dressier outfits. I feel like they're a little bit dressier than like an Air Force or something like that, but that's my fit. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. You look really pretty. We went to Adele's. I don't even know if we said that, but we went to Adele's. It was a really cute location, and I would give it an 8 out of 10. I loved it. I had salmon. Yeah, it was good. Um, Dylan had steak. We had some, like, apps. That was a little date night. Now we're going home. I thought dinner was good, and I'm literally drunk off two drinks. That's the best, when you don't even have to drink a lot, and you just, like, you know? Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, put that shit down. <laughs> Hi! We missed you! We missed you! What? I don't think they're out there. Wait, I have to pee so bad. We're home. And dinner was good, you guys. It was so good. I'm drinking a water. And I'm gonna end the video because I'm gonna upload it right now. I'm gonna add the clips that I've been editing it on the computer today. So I'm gonna upload those clips. And then tomorrow I leave for Georgia for Romeo's wedding. So I'm gonna be vlogging that too. I'm gonna vlog a little bit that weekend. Um, just for the memories because I want to like remember her wedding weekend and stuff. So I thought I would vlog and I'm sure she would love to see the wed wedding memories too. She watches my videos to keep up. So, hey Romeo, I love you. Anyways, um, is that all I had to say? I think it is. Dylan has um, Easter candy and I'm like about to eat it. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Dylan, I'm eating your Easter candy. You don't care? No. Okay, cool. We have Sour Patch Kids. Dylan, did you like my Easter basket I made you? I did. What was your favorite thing in it? Um, deodorant. <laughs> deodorant. Yep. I know, that's always like a good gift to get because you don't have to buy it for yourself. Dylan's mom got us these really cute um, Easter towels. 
the best is yet to come. I'm gonna put this in the kitchen, this is so cute. Um, but you guys, look at it. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi, how are ya? Hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> Dylan, you were actually just funny for a second. <laughs> were you a Nickelodeon kid or a uh, Disney Channel kid? Disney. Disney, what was your favorite show on Disney? <laughs> Do you remember? You like that show. Regular or on deck? Regular. I think my favorite was Hannah Montana. That was a close yeah. Anyways, okay. Your mom really gave you the freaking hookup with the candy. Yeah. Like she got good candy. Reese's milk chocolate peanut butter, Heath bars, Sour Patch Kids. The wedding's in 24 days. <laughs> I don't need to eat this. I'm gonna allow myself to eat one, okay? Just one Heath bar. Boom. Slow a little down is what they said. I'ma get it all up in my head White t-shirt, blue jeans, uh -huh. 